Hi, it's Gadget UK here again, following on from the live stream, and there'll be a link uh, top right to that. Uh, yeah, the filter on this 2000, it's not working. So, I've removed the CPU card, it's got a stock 68K, switch it on. And I've also got the serial parallel loopbacks connected, because I want to test those as well. So if I turn the filter off and on, and it sounds a bit bassy there already. No effect. None. Uh, if we go back, so I was expecting a problem with the serial port maybe. So, test the serial port, and we've got some reds. Yeah, and like I said, the loopbacks are connected, so that's not good. But the interesting thing is, we also have a problem with the parallel port. So, uh, what's going on here? 8, 12 and 13, maybe a fuse on the parallel port maybe? Because I think there's a power connection, isn't there? And if that fuse is there, it's blown. This is one of these boards where it had, had uh, multiple issues. It originally came from Tom Meads. Let's just switch this off. Let's just check the fuse at the back. It might be like a simple fix with the power port and then something different with the serial port. The serial port, I think what I'm going to do is just remove the 1488 because that's the thing that controls the filter, I think, the cuts off. And um, just swap it out because I think that's going to be the issue. So let's just test on connectivity. There's a fuse back here. That fuse is alright. There's a few fuses here, and there are a few fuses. Those are okay. So, hands one back here on this board. That's alright. I don't know, it could be corrosion or something. There is a bit of corrosion back here, just around the audio caps. So anyway, the immediate, well, the fuses are alright, aren't they? So, I don't know, the parallel port's a mystery. Because it doesn't use the 1488 and 1489s, I don't think. I think the parallel port there's uh, an F08 somewhere, so... Anyway, let's just deal with the serial port and the filter for now. Yeah, and it's got stock CPU, it's got the AT card, it's got the bolster fitted. I can't see any of those having any bearing on this problem. So we'll just get everything off this board, and then I'll remove the 1488. Yeah, so the 1488 and 89 are down here. I'm not ruling out the fact that maybe something was accidentally connected wrong to the infer uh, infernal serial connector here that might have killed the serial port could have been when I was messing with the SID card right at the start actually not in the video where I noticed this was wrong but in the video where we built the SID card so yeah uh, that's the 89 isn't it that's the 88 so let's remove that 88 so it's the chip nearest the connector on the left hand side so it's going to be this one and uh, the traces look all right there I can't really see any issue around that area so let's just start to to solder that and then I'll use hot air to free it up. Yeah, I was just trying to remind myself of which one it was there, it's the one nearest the connector, isn't it? This connector here, the infernal CO connector. They're bent over, aren't they? I hate it when they bend them over like this. It's not gonna free up this way, but if we just remove most of the solder this way, and then a hot air to remove it. Yeah, most of the solder is uh, removed from the bottom. Let's just stick that that way. Hang on a minute. Yeah, so anyway, you saw the tool that I was using there just to grab that chip. Can get the thing back on it. Yeah, so I'm gripping that pretty firmly. And bring the hot air in 400 degrees. Let's just preheat around here. I'd like to try and avoid delamination, but you know, this board has suffered from delamination in the past. Yeah, so bring the hot air in, just preheat around here a little bit. And then zoom in on the IC here. And I'm pulling at the same time as here. wasn't truly hanging in there. There we go, it's coming out. There we go, it's out. But the pads are okay, as you can see. So let's just unblock the holes and get a socket on. So I unblocked the holes from the underside, I'll have a clean around there. Right, got the correct size socket here, I think, now. Yeah. 
so let's see if we can get that in. There we go, flip it over. That's it. Right, we're all done. I'll clean up afterwards. Let's get a new 1488 in there and give it a try. Right, so wrist strap on. Got a brand new 1488. Let's just get rid of the gull winged legs using this uh, tool I got from Chris Cathers. I really appreciate it. It's an amazing thing. And pin one is at the top. Same as the 1489 next to it. And just try it and put that in. That's it. That's in. Power it on. So boot from floppy. Let's test the serial now. Straight away that's looking better. Yay, serial port fixed. Let's test the filter. Audio. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've not got the audio. Cable skillet, just give me a sec. That's one. That's two. Let's turn the filter. Yay. I think. Yeah, let's put a sign on. Yeah, it's working now. So that's that. Let's now just test the parallel ports again. I'd be very surprised if the parallel ports now mysteriously work. Oh my god, they do. Isn't that interesting? I'll show you the schematics in a minute, but the 1488 doesn't seem to have anything to do with the parallel port. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> that was a simple one. So the only other thing, apart from uh, me doing a bit of extended testing, is to just clean up with cotton buds and IPA now. Yeah, there we go. It's looking pretty darn clean around there now. Yeah, so just look at the schematics. So we've got U301 CIA there, and we've got the 1488. This is where I was looking at the cutoff and obviously a serial port uh, there as well. And the serial port comes in through here, um, I think, U305. But U304, you know, we've got some of the connections go to the serial port and the filter, and that's where we started looking. But in terms of the uh, parallel port side, the parallel port side, uh, here you go, it's the right way up, on that. Yeah, on the parallel port, again, you've got CIA there for the parallel port, but there are no connections to the 1488. So I don't really honestly understand what could cause that on the power port side. And I swear to God this is not being deliberate, but my uh, camcorder seems to have been focusing on mice the whole video on its own. It's like, what is it? This isn't even an Amiga mouse, it's an Archimedes mouse. Um, anyway, yeah, so parallel port side. There's no relation to the 1488 as far as I can see. You've got some 74 series down here. 7.4 series there, it goes somewhere else. So in terms of the Centronics port, it's the parallel port is just read by a port on this CIA E300. So, yeah, comments down below. Why do you think the parallel port was coming up as bad? I'm wondering if it's one of the, uh, you know, like an interrupt or something's been raised by the serial port because there's a fault on the serial port, the specific pins that were playing up. Maybe it was raising an interrupt, which meant that when the test was going on for this um, port here with the loopbacks, maybe something there was not right. I don't know, it's bizarre, absolutely bizarre. But both the serial and power ports, as well as the filter, were resolved from that 1488. Anyway, I do hope you found the video interesting. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.